Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Simon Fu. The name of my channel is Sense and Swirl, sharing brands we love. So in my channel, I'll be reviewing wine and spirit as well as cologne and everything which has to do with scents. So if scents is something which is important to you, consider subscribing. That way you can help me to grow my channel. I'm in the series of wine which is below $15 which you can get in local store in LCBO in Canada. So today I'm going to bring you to this country called Portugal. Catedral Dao Reservoir 2019. So today, this bottle wine which I'm going to talk about is 13% in alcohol and is from Dao Portugal distributed by Worldwide Commercial International. Sugar contains 10 grams per liter. The descriptor of the wine is dry and the style of this wine is medium bodied and fruity. There's three grapes in this bottle. Cinta uh, Rohits, also known as Tempranillo in Spain. Um, El Frostredo is at 30% and 20% which is Doriga Nacional. So this is a mixed varietal. So I'm going to bring you to five facts about Portuguese wine. Portugal produce many wines besides just port wine. Fact number two, port wine can only come from Dura region, from Portugal. It's like champagne, it has to come from the champagne region of France. Fact number three, most Portuguese wine, the grape varietal are native. Fact number four, generally speaking, you pay lesser for Portuguese wine. It's because Portuguese wine are usually underrated. Fact number five. Portugal are famous for making wine cock. 50% of the world commercial outputs of wine cocks are made in Portugal. So let me walk you through a little bit about the history of this brand. Dao is one of the oldest established wine region in Portugal, located just south of uh, the famous Douro Valley. The mountainous region is home for Tariga Nacional, the principle of a uh, variety of port wine. For more details about this brand and the company, I'll put this product below the link description. That way you can go and check it out. Let's talk about the color. So I can see on the glass right here, the color spectrum is leaning towards a medium garnet. And in terms of the legs, when I give it a swirl, I would say moderate legs which indicates a high alcohol, as well as the viscosity thickness and the stickiness in the wine, as well as the sugar content in this bottle of wine. Right on top, uh, predominant aroma of ripe dark fruits, as well as uh, red fruits as well. As I give it a second sniff, I begin to pick up a bouquet of uh, oak barrel in this glass. This wine is definitely dry, but not too dry, moderate tannins, and flavor of roasted uh, beans. I pick up smoky and herbaceous as well. On the mid palate, notably soft tannin, uh, not too much, uh, packed with lots of uh, dark ripe fruits in it as well. When it comes to finishing, on the back of my palate, it exhibits medium finish with notable florist flaw and earthiness in this taste profile. So it's time for me to review this wine. I'm gonna rate this wine four out of five star and 85 to 89, very good quality wine. This wine have lots of complexity in it and it tastes pretty good. So as I mentioned on my earlier video, anything which is below $15 is a steal. You can't go wrong with anything $15. However, this wine is 1045. Now it's time to talk about food pairing. So when we talk about food pairing, this wine uh, pairs very well with pork, strong cheese, and it's recommended to serve around 16 to 18 Celsius. So who is this wine for? Based on my opinion, this wine can drink by its own. You don't have to really pair with food in particular. Like some wine 
uh, it's better for you to pair with food but this one you can just pull away with just a movie night as well as you just enjoy over the weekends or anytime as you wish if you're looking for something medium to full body spectrum and below $15 give Cathedral Tau Reservoir 2019 a try so I'm just gonna talk a little bit about this book before I wrap up today's video so this author is uh, Aldo Sham so he's an Austrian, Somalier, currently he's living in the United States and I gained a lot of wine knowledge through this book. So I'll put this book below the link description as well. Make sure you check it out so that way you can uh, check out the author as well as the website of this Somalier. Thank you once again for uh, watching this uh, another episode of uh, Wine Review. This is episode number 8. So I really appreciate your time. Consider subscribing that way you can help me to grow my channel. I will share uh, different brands from time to time as well as uh, anything which has to do with sense to be made again peace out cheers